What we want to do is we want to jump into our, our top four, fellas. Top four right now. We've seen five weeks of football plus, I guess, week zero. Uh, so really six weeks of football that we've seen, college football. And uh, the top the top ten in this country has just been going nuts, in and out every week, teams falling out, new teams jumping in. But uh, let, let's run through our, each of our top four real quick right right now. Who, who's getting in the college football playoffs today? Coach, if, if, if you're picking them today, who's in the college football playoffs for you? So right now, right, it, it, to me, there's there's two things you're looking at, right? You're, you're looking at, right, who have you played, right, which right. we all right. know right now, early it looked like Miami was – Miami's just an average football team, right? So as you get to week four, five, six, you start to see some things start to happen. Consistency, close games – Everybody's worried about, well, but did you win, right? Did you win the game, right? Because other people have not. Um, Right now, by the eye test and by who's playing, it's hard to say Ohio State's not number one. I mean, because of who they played and how they played. I mean, nobody wants to say it, but to me, right now, they're the best team in the country based on how they're playing from what I see, right? Uh, number two, you know, Bama's going to be there. We get it, right? They're, 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 they're what, throwing up 40, 45 a night, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, yeah. right? You lose your, you lose maybe the other guy that the other quarterback that's probably the second best quarterback in the country. Right, Young. It's 21 to nothing. 21 to nothing, right? He gets hurt. Right. He leaves. Team goes down. We all played football. We all know what that means. Either coach played it and like everybody's like, oh, and then they struggle a little bit and then they hit the accelerator again. Another 40 something. Right. Damn near 50 again. So to me, that's that's a real football team. Uh, Now. Clemson. What are they doing? Right. Who are they up and down a little bit? We'll figure that out. Right. I would say there are three, uh, you know, I, I, I really have a hard time with, with Michigan. Right. I have a really hard time with Michigan. But to me, they are better. I think the sleeper team, this thing that's like four, four slash five is Oklahoma State B- because of the Big 12. I'm talking about the, the, the final four. I'm not talking about one, two, three, four, because coming out of the, uh, out of the Big 12, Oklahoma State, because of their resume last year, remember if they don't go for it on on it, go for go for a touchdown, right? Big Twelve Championship. They're they're, yeah, yeah, they're going to playoffs last year, and I have a hard time right now counting Oklahoma State out uh, of the playoffs right now. Rich, what you got, baby? Look, I'm a I'm a go. If we're going so we're going right now, or who we think is going to finish it for? Because if we're going right now, I'm, I'm about to go. We're taking four teams right now. Right you know, now, I, yeah, I think Ohio State, like you said, I think two things. Just like he said, who you, who have you played, and how have you played? I think Ohio State has put it together, they're scoring points. I think just on both sides of the ball, they're kind of holding down right now, I like what they're doing there. So Ohio State, I feel like for sure, and I I don't see anybody out of that conference really giving them trouble right now. I mean, there's, there's some teams that could definitely that could, hey, they can make a name for themselves and, t- and take the big dog down, but I don't see that right now. So Ohio State, um, then. My two, um, I'm going to say Bama, but at the same time, Bama isn't looking like mighty, mighty Bama this year. They're not just steamrolling everybody. I mean, they had like, they've had two close games up to this point. The game of Texas could have went either way. The game of Arkansas, there was a point in there where it wasn't definitive. Like, oh my gosh, Alabama could have lost. I, I still say Alabama because they, 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 they're just, they're Bama. You got to respect what they've done. And three, I'm going to put Clemson. And man, I, I say Clemson because Clemson's got two top 25 wins. All right through five games, and the rest of, the rest of the season looks like a more like smooth sailing. But I think tr- strength of schedule right now they got two really solid wins over Wake Forest and NC State. And hopefully those two teams go on to make our make our schedule look even better, which I think they will. Um, then I got Syracuse, who will be potential rank team coming in. They play Florida State next week, so I think the, the strength of schedule for them looks really good. And the biggest question mark from last year was scoring points. We're finally scoring points again, fellas. Look, DJ yeah. Uyunga Galay is doing his thing. They're rolling. So I'm excited about them at three. And then at four, I'm kind of the same way. I'm, that's a toss-up for me because you got, like, the team sort of around. You got, you got Southern Cal. 
But to me, the, I'm just not entirely sold on Southern Cal. Um, you got Michigan. He didn't say a name. I think you still got to put UGA in that category. UGA, UGA probably had the strongest start of the season when they smacked Oregon. I mean, that's still – that was a statement game come out, coming out the gate. And since then, they've had a couple moments too where, like, they don't look like mighty UGA. And so I'll probably put Georgia at four, honestly. Um, obviously, out of, the, out of that conference, will both teams make it? Probably not this year because I think USC out of Pac-12 could make a run. Oklahoma State could make a run. Well, those are my top four right now. So I'm going Bama, Clemson, UGA. Um, and who was my Ohio State? I'm gonna I'm gonna ride with this right here, fellas. I'm 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 putting Georgia still at one. I I can't I can't hold the Missouri game against Georgia and not hold the the Ohio State Notre Dame game against Ohio State. Now that we know who Notre Dame is, um, I can't hold the Texas game against Bama and and not hold. You know, everybody's had one of those right. one of those games that they probably shouldn't be as tight as they are, but I'm a firm believer in when you play. 14 of them, hey, man, you ain't, you ain't going to show up and, and get your best game every time. You're going to be stuck in a dog fight with somebody that don't have any business being in the ring with you. What you got to do is be the one, the last man standing in that situation. I think each one of these teams has done it. Um, so I can't I can't hammer Georgia too much. I still think Georgia's the best overall football team in America. The, the, the 49 to three just thumping of Oregon, who's now number 11. Oregon's done nothing but show that they're better than we thought they were since that ball game. I got to go with Georgia one. I'm going with Ohio State number two. They're, they're really look. They're Notre Dame and Wisconsin. They're two big wins. I mean, I think by the end of the year we're, we're gonna we're, we're not gonna mention them. I, I think their their big wins are, are down the road for them. But OSU, there's no there's no denying guys. If especially when they get in Jigba back or what is it, Jigba Smith or Smith and Jigba. Yeah. I don't know which one goes first. Right. But when they get that dude back. They are going to be by far the most explosive, the most explosive offense in America. And their defense is playing pretty damn good. So I'm going with OSU, Ohio State second. I'm going Bama, Bama at three. I'm not, I'm with you, Wrench. I'm not completely sold that Bama is is one of those that separated themselves from the from the crowd, especially if Bryce Young spends any kind of time out. Um, right. But they do that. You know, the win against Texas was a good win on the road and a tight ball game. You're the last man standing. And then they go on the road at Arkansas. Again, I was there. It was a hostile environment. They lose their quarterback in the first half. They they fight through adversity. They win that ball game. Bama's, Bama's defense is playing better than I gave them credit for, if I'm being completely honest. And um, they're throwing up 45 a night. With whoever. Coach, you know what was crazy? <laughs> Don't hey, coach, about that. Coach, you know what was crazy the other night in, in that Bama game, and I and I'm I'm, I'm a, we get it. We're gonna have Bama on, on our on our rundown today because somebody else got to talk about it earlier the damn week. But I'm not sure, and I don't have time to go into this right now. I'm not sure that Alabama doesn't scare me more with Jalen Milrow quarterbacking than mm-hmm. with Bryce Young quarterbacking. Now I think they have a better chance, obviously, to win the national championship and and beat teams like Georgia with, and, and and Ohio State. With a guy like Bryce Young that can just that that can at any moment in time explode. But when you're talking about when they play Arkansas or when they play A and M this week or when they play LSU or when they play Auburn, I mean, they're gonna be they're gonna be damn near unbeatable. Whereas if Bryce Young's back there in the pocket holding the football, at least you got a chance to get pressure and hit him and get a pick. Man, if they if they just line up and start road grading like the old school Alabama. They're going to be hard for one of these old middle of the road, middle of the pack uh, SEC teams to, to beat, man. All right, my last one, real quick, is Clemson. By the way, Clemson, the wins, over, the win over uh, NC State, the win over Wake Forest. I got to ride with my my boy Wrenches boys down come on, there. Come on, uh, Georgia, Ohio State, Bama, Clemson. All right, and we're going to take a quick and DJ is real. DJ, you, you buy it. DJ is real. You riding with it, huh? Yep, I'm Back. riding with it. 